What is going on, True Believers? Guys, we're having a little bit of a late start today. This is actually being recorded like probably a few minutes before it actually launches live. Uh, I wanted to give you that as a kind of an update. Been having some kind of problem with my camera. It's just, you know, and this beautiful face, like, don't you really want to see this beautiful face? Of course you do. Of course you do. You don't? Okay, whatever. All right, listen, we're going to talk about Luna Classic today. I'm going to tell you what you need to know, and hopefully we're going to see a nice little run. And I'm going to show you one of the projects again, because I messed up last time, but they fixed it. Now... I'm going to show it to you again. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And remember, uh, I'm telling you, Luna Classic is about to explode in price. Now, can I tell you exactly the moment that it's going to happen? No. Can I tell you that it is going to happen? You see how I didn't say it right away? You never know. The reason I say this is because you never really know what could happen. Anything could. The most likely scenario to play out here is that we're looking at a nice big move by Luna Classic. Now, not to the downside either, to the upside. I'm going to show you why. Did you hit that like button? All right, guys. First, uh, Commonwealth discussion, nothing really happening. No news to really go over. Coin haul, uh, if you look at these, you know, it's basically, uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting a nice little pump off of Jurist. I'm getting a nice little pump off, off Lunk. Not huge, but a little bit. So increasing some of the value over there uh, as far as station goes. No real governance proposals, anything up. So we have nothing really going on in that context. Uh, Commonwealth, nothing, you know, there's no real proposal here that we need to consider uh, for the moment here. Remember, we're talking about reactivating the market module for USTC repeg, assuming that we have a USTC repeg, which I do think is being worked on. We'll let you know further. Uh, tax to gas implementation, which we're still... Um, you know, we're still waiting for that next phase, which is that 1.5% tax. So, you know, a couple different things that are happening over here. Uh, Creed Luna, a uh, Lunk Liquidity Management DAO using DAO DAO Zone. Eh, I don't know if that's important. Uh, could be, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, and also the Lunk Classic Code Certifiers. And this, so, you know, a lot of this is, is having to do with some of the KYC and stuff like that that's going on right now. Um, and I told you guys yesterday, I think that it's important that somebody... KYC somebody, not because I don't want you to have anonymity. You still have anonymity if you are KYC with a professional organization. It's that professional organization um, that we need to choose the right one for that process in the event that, you know, and, and I mean, again, if you have a, a job that doesn't allow you to do it, I mean, you're breaking their rules anyway. You're not entitled to, to, to cryptocurrency, stuff like that. Fundamentally, we're just going to disagree on it. I think that there should be some kind of remedial opportunity for any of us as investors to come after you as the developer in case you pull some shady stuff. Simple. That there has to be a mechanism by which the, the courts and the government could find you in the event they need to find you. That's all. Uh, and you might say, well, it's not freedom, bro. You're right. It's not freedom. Um, but also your uh, ability to steal from me means that I am willing to give up that portion of my freedom to make sure you don't rob me. That's why every country in the world has a police force. Uh, I don't want my house to burn down, which is why every country has a fire department. That's why uh, in civilization, this is where we are because shady people do shady stuff. And that doesn't mean that anybody in this ecosystem is a shady person, but they could show up. If we're going to expand, we're going to bring in good, bad, and ugly. So again, I just want to put that out there. Let's talk price act. Okay, so nothing has fundamentally changed. What I told you guys the other day was that we were going to consolidate for a little while. I even gave you the little, I mean, it's doing exactly what we said it was going to do, right? And what I say was going to happen after that, big move up here. So uh, how does that big move look? Most likely it looks a little more, you know, staggered and up and down, et cetera, et cetera. Like, you know, drunk driver on its way up. So uh, if we get an impulse move, then, you know, we could get a, a big impulse move into that 15 range. I don't think so. I think this, you know, becomes the, you know, that's the kind of area where we end up getting consolidation. Why? Well, you come over here and it's your volume node. So... I would expect or suspect that we're going to go from one volume node, which is here, to the next Heine volume node right here, and then immediately up to this next volume node. So there we have it. That's going to be the next, uh, I think, move. Um, and it, by the way, uh, it, it's going to be U uh, USTC as well. And you can see that it's kind of holding up. The market, broader market, is just kind of uh, wonky 
we're, we're waiting for that last. Could be a final shakeout, by the way. There, there is possibility that there is a final shakeout of something before uh, we have another uh, big impulse move. But uh, Luna Classic right now, in my opinion, holding up at the range that it's in right now. Is it holding up great long term? I don't think so. Uh, I think this, you know, these lower movements down here where we kind of found that floor makes me nervous that it could happen again. But I'll also understand that we're kind of in that bullish phase of the market where you know, some people recognize, yeah, we're, we're not going back down here. Or if we do, we're wicking down here and we're way more comfortable up at sort of range. Now, uh, also, uh, let's look at the, vo the, the volume. We can see here up to 36 million, up a little bit on the day, but it's good to see 36 million in volume. What does that look like in the markets? Let's go over here. Uh, that's 21 million for Binance. The rest is another 15 million. But guys, if we were doing... Uh, again, if we're doing 1.5% burn tax, one, a 15 million volume. If we had 15 million volume in that context, then that's a significant amount. 15 million, uh, $225,000. $225,000 divided by, uh, divided by 0.123479 means that we could effectively burn 2.8 billion today with that volume. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see how this plays out and what it looks like. You know, maybe we'll see a, a nice little burn, uh, up 55% on daily volume here. By the way, it should be noted that, that market volume disappeared yesterday. Absolutely disappeared. Not in Luna Classic, but it disappeared from the broader market. So, um, just keep that in mind. As far as uh, burns go, 214 million, not big, uh, nothing much. Uh, as far as uh, help, guys, this is it right here. Luna Classic, Luna, BNB, BUSD, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Polygonmatic, Doge. For your risk-based gaming, go to Terra Casino. That is uh, one of the sponsors of this channel. Help me out. Uh, help them out. Uh, if you like uh, these, these kind of uh, gaming opportunities, this is where you got it. This is where you got to go. If you want to, if you want to keep talking about Luna Classic all the time, this is the place to be. Also, if you are looking to trade meme coins, the place to be is Terraport.finance. And by the way, I keep looking at this day in and day out and see there's 144 million uh, staked Terra right now. Only have five. Only have, uh, farming pools. Uh, you have farming pools over here. Uh, and, and you can see that the total stake liquidity pool, there, there's a lot staked over here. So uh, total value locked right here, 100 something thousand in, in one Luna Classic, 48,000 in another one. There's a significant amount staked over here. There's a great place for you to go if you want to trade meme coins. And by that, uh, you come over here and trade. And there are pairings, Luna Classic uh, paired with a bunch of different types over here. You can see the volume of trading. You can see the liquidity available for trading. Uh, so go certainly check this out. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, we're going to move. This 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 market is ready to send uh, the market makers, the people that do all of this kind of stuff and prevent this kind of stuff from happening. They're just preventing this stuff from happening right now, but it's not going to last much longer, I would suspect, and I would think that we're probably going to see a big, big move coming very, very soon. So hold on tight. Remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away $100,000 in Ethereum and $100,000 in Solana. Go to this X post and engage with it in order to get registered. Uh, you have to follow their Telegram, follow Cryptonomy on X, make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months. There's no amount given, but the winners could range from $100 to $10,000. So check it out today. Also, we now have a dark mode on Cryptonomy. So if you haven't, make sure you go check that out. Now, I told you guys before, I'm a big time fan of API3. I think it's going to be one of the bangers. We're going to do this one for six months. And we're also going to make a deposit on Ondo. And again, we're going to do it for six months. That's a 32.46% yield. And now we're staked with more API, more Ondo. Guys, I can't stress enough, the market Get ready because there's something big getting ready to happen. Make sure that you're staking with Cryptonomy.finance today.